we've come to Seven Stains Trail Centre in Maybe to talk you through some of the physics involved in mountain biking. There's some really interesting physics principles uh, that hopefully are going to be useful for your GCSE or A-level physics, whichever one you're studying. Gorilla Physics! Yeah. So, this is a full suspension mountain bike and there's a front and a rear shock and they both work with compressed air and that is one of the two applications of pressure um, for the mountain bike. You remember pressure is force over area. Uh, so what I can do is I can add air in here at the top and that will um, make it stiffer so that will increase the spring constant if you like the K for the, um, for the fork. So if it's stiffer, it takes more force to depress it a certain um, length, a certain extension. Cool. So I can add air in here and that will make the whole fork stiffer. Uh, so if you like, if you think about your Hooke's Law, that will increase the spring constant K. It will take more newtons for a centimetre of compression. So it's got a rating here marked by weight because obviously the main downwards force is going to be because of your weight. So I'm between 80 and 90 kilograms, so I want to be between 135 to 150 pounds per square inch. So on this dial here, I've got a little way to go. And then, and then you can just soften it up a little bit with the rebound. Just if you're not taking obstacle after obstacle, it doesn't need to return so quickly. So it's, it's not quite simple harmonic motion because it's actually a different restoring force to push it back to its equilibrium position. So here I can change the rebound. There's a spring in here which it, it can make it faster or slower to return back up. So if I turn it this way, it's a slower rebound. Well, I've made the spring in here less stiff. And if I turn it this way, then I've increased the stiffness of the spring and the suspension recoils faster. Let me show you what I mean by that. Do you want to stand up? Okay, so it's coming up faster, a bit slower, then the rebound is less quick. Okay, so this, the rear shock is a similar kind of idea. It has um, compressed air, but it also has this little system here which changes the damping um, in the system. So it's called a pro pedal because one thing I don't want is when I'm climbing to be putting all my energy into depressing this rather than pushing the bike uphill. So if I flick it across, then it damps it and it makes it harder for the spring to depress. If I push it this way, then it should be softer and we can, uh, we've can we got a more comfortable ride over bumps. This video is part of a little mini series of physics of mountain biking, so if you like this video, then please check out the rest. And if you did like the video, then if I earned your subscription, please subscribe to Gorilla Physics. There'll be plenty more past papers help for your physics GCSEs and A-levels.